Hey guys, how's it going? I've got a video on how to get your marvellous designer clothing and garments into ZBrush with nice low topology for you, with nice edge flow and everything like that. Um, I found out how to get a low number of polygons with the amount of detail you can get into marvellous designer. Yeah. Um, so basically what I've got here is a low poly version and if I go into the high you can see it's you know it's like that it's looking decent you've got all the you've got all the detail you need in it and the uv map let's go into uv map morph yeah you got the uv map right there which looks pretty decent so the way i go about doing this is i go into mother's designer i get my garment so my hood <clears throat> So I get my hood or whatever I want. Make sure the particle distance is a low number, so maybe five. Then you want to export it, OBJ selected, um, hood high. You want single object, unweld, um, unified UV coordinates. Um, yeah, then click OK. Once you've done that, go into your 2D arrangement by clicking this button here. And do the exact same thing, export, OBJ selected, hood, you know, name it hood arrangement, whatever you want. Click single object, unweld, thin, make sure it is unweld. Um, yeah, then thin, unified DB coordinates, basically the same sort of setting, oh, yeah, settings. Click OK. When you've done that, there is two options. You can go into ZBrush, click Append, Cube, whatever, Import, Hood Arrangement. You know, you've got, all, you've got this messy topology, you've got high topology as well. Um, so what you want to do is, this is one way. So you can click, see, well, Target Poly is maybe one. Um, adaptive Size, zero. Tech edges, keep creases, Z remesh, and there you go. Lower topology, or lower number of polygons. Um, it's looking decent. Then you export it out. Uh, hood arrangement new, so make it call it something else. Go into Maya. Then what you see in Maya is you import everything. So you import the the high poly arrangement thing you exported. Then you export the low poly one, so the one you Z remeshed. And you also export the high poly hood. Now there's one method you could do where hood arrangement, you can retopologize here to make the polygon count like extremely low. So you click on the mesh, the uh, 2D arrangement mesh, you click this button here, and then quad draw. What it says, you can start building up your you know, polygons manually. Um, perks in this is you can control the amount of polygons you have Plus, you can make sure that all the edges line up properly. I've had situations where using the Z remesh tool doesn't create you know, an even number of polygons on each of the different parts of it. So when I had a shirt, I had a different amount of polygons and edges around the sort of um, arm than I did on the body bit. So I had to add more edges, I had to mess around a bit wasn't great um, whereas this mode you can just say okay I've got you know say I had six, well, about 10 across you're going to do 10 here um, and just make sure the you know apology is even and the following count is even throughout the edges um, so yeah you make sure you do that once you've done that you'll have a you'll have a you know you'll have a mesh 
So let's just say let's just say this. Yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you the low poly mesh I made earlier. You know, low low number of polys, good edge flow. You know, it's looking decent. So what you want to do is once you have your 2D arrangement all made up, mine will be the Z remeshed version. Um, just so I don't have to do it again. You click on the, you know, the 2D one with a lot of topology. Then you click on your Zero Meshed version or your topology, topologized version, whatever it is. So click that and click your low poly mesh. Go into mesh, transfer attributes. This you want, um, Vertex position on, UV set all, sample space local, mirroring off, flip UVs off, and apply. What you'll notice now is, what you'll find is that your high poly 2D version, the UVs, have transferred over to your low poly version. Um, so that's easier for the UV sets. Once you've done that, you want to go to your high poly 3D mesh. Right there. You want to click that. Then you want to click your low poly version that's just been UV'd. Oh well, yeah, just create the UV. You then click mesh, transfer attributes. You want to make sure UV sets is off, sample space is UV, and apply. And now, You've got, you know, it's take it's shaped how the hood actually is. What you'll notice is uh, what you notice is the vertexes haven't been welded together; they're just separated. So what you're going to want to do is weld them together. So you go into vertex, um, target weld. And then you start welding everything together. Once you've welded all the edges together, you should have something like this. You'll notice that the edges are all done, um, all put together. Yeah, you want to target weld all the vertexes together so that when you send it over to ZBrush, the you know the edges are joined together. Once you've welded all the vertexes together. You want to click your high poly mesh and your low poly new mesh. Well, first you want to do, you want to click your low poly mesh, smooth it out. Then you're going to want to add divisions, two divisions or three, whatever you want to do. Click mesh, then click your new one. Um, mesh, transfer attributes. Same settings as before, so vertex positions on, UV sets off, sample space UV, and apply. And it'll, you know, it'll do the exact same shape you just wanted it. Um, yeah, it'll take the shape of that high poly hood. So if you've welded all the vertexes together, um, it should look good. Go into ZBrush. Um, append, cube, import, line it up to where you want it to be lined up.
uh, line it up. And what you see is you've got, you know, a good looking hood, gun geometry, reconstruct subdivisions, and there you go. There's your low poly hood. If you want to clean it up some more, just you know, smooth it out or something like that. But yeah, there you go. There's the hood done. You know, the UVs are sorted out. You've got a low, you know, low, low um, polygon hoods. Or you could do this with anything you wanted. You could have low poly trousers or jacket or whatever. But this just shows you a quick way of getting all your garments sorted out inside of Marvelous Designer, Maya and ZBrush, so that they're good with UVs, I guess. So... Yeah, that's sort of that's about it to be honest. Um, yeah, so that's about it for the video today. I hope it was informative. It's, it was a little bit, yeah, you know, a little bit jumbled up and a little bit all over the place. But hopefully, everyone understood it. Everyone sort of it helped people. Um, but yeah. I hope it helped guys. I hope it was informative to you guys. So, yeah, I guess that will be it for the video. Um, try and like and subscribe. That really helps. Comment down below anything else you want me to sort of teach you or go through because that would, you know, it helps me come up with some content. Um, so, yeah, other than that, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Um, bye.